Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Carmen. Ready? Miss Susana Portillo, women power again, right? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Yes. Yeah, it's not a surprise now, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's it's the norm, right? Es la normalidad. <laughs> sí, y lo acabo de hacer, pero hoy sí me salió. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sí. It was raining, yeah, like 30 minutes ago, right? It was raining. Estuvo lloviendo, right? También aquí. Over there too, yes. Mm -hmm. I was worried about the internet connection because when it when it rains, the internet the internet goes down, right? It gets very slow. Yes, it's about service. It's not continue. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we have a lot of practice for this class today, all right? I have uh, some activities like, like the one uh, we, we did yesterday, right? And others, okay, so. By any chance, do you have any questions about the platform, uh, Ms. Portillo and, and Ms. Uh, Carmen? No teacher, um, no I, I, I log in yesterday and can do the five activities and only have to do the term, the, the, okay. the middle term. Okay, the mid term over there, all right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes, Miss, Miss Susana asked me yesterday about a exercise uh, when you have to write the uh, future with be going to. I guess that exercise was wrong, all right? Okay, because it was it was weird to do it. Había un ejercicio que estaba medio raro para hacerlo, right? Sí. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, con lo de la clase de ayer. Ajá. A mí lo que me cuesta es lo que usted explicó de que había que poner las fechas al final o, lo, o cuando era nombre nombre mm -hmm. de persona también hay que ponerlo al final <clears throat> yes like like take a look over here mm -hmm. so this is the exercise that, that that we did yesterday okay so in this case we're talking about the statue of liberty all right so we start with that so the statue of liberty and then we need a a passive sentence right the statue of liberty was designed all right and then you say who designed it just right after the word, you need to write who, who did it, all right, or who made it. Mm -hmm. In this case, is the Statue of Liberty was designed by sculptor Frederick August Bertoldi. And then the last thing should be the date or the year, all right? Or you can start with the year, like, okay, in 1884, it's like if you're telling a story, right? Como que está contando una historia. In 1884, the Statue of Liberty was designed by the, uh, and then you say the name of the person, right? Okay. Yes. Es decir que quien hizo tal cosa va automáticamente después del objeto que nos estamos refiriendo. Lo que usted puede cambiar de orden es la fecha, comienza o termina. My suggestion, all right, my personal and humble opinion, mi humilde opinion is, que lo haga al final, 
pero ahí depende de que, like, what you want to emphasize or what you want to focus, focus on, right? En qué se quiere enfocar, ¿ok? Yeah. All right, so I have more people over here. And uh, the only gentleman, right, blessed among women, right, Mr. Francisco? <laughs> Good evening, Welcome sir. to the Women Power. Welcome to Women Power, right? <laughs> yes. Como que fuera baby shower, entonces. <laughs> ah, no, no, don't say that. They're gonna, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe, right? <laughs> You know, this, this is this is the Tokayos class, right? Because we have uh, Mr. Francisco and me, right? Tokayos and Miss Susana Portillo with the other Susana, right? Or, or friend. Mm -hmm. or okay. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. Hello, sorry. Okay. <laughs> bon appetit. Hello. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. You, you can turn on turn off the camera. Don't worry about it. But, but, respetamos la, la privacidad, puede apagar la cámara si gusta, no se preocupe ¿verdad? para que coma tranquilita, no se preocupe ya se reportó <laughs> yeah, that's okay it happens, it happens but if it's a snack uh, it's, it's actually better, right? maybe it's the coffee time right now maybe, right? All right. so um, in this class we will continue uh, talking about the Passive voice, but as I promised you yesterday, the most important thing for this class will be listening practice. For you, I have two listenings. The first one has to do with ancient uh, monuments, all right? Like the, the pyramids in Egypt, the Machu Picchu city, and the Great Wall of China. This, according to uh, UNESCO, right? Are the part of the seven wonders of the world, all right? These three places. So we have Machu Picchu in South America, the pyramids in Egypt, and the Great Wall of China in China, of course. So that's one listening. In this class, we will also practice another listening, but in this case, it will be about Colombia, all right? So in that case, you will have to um, listen for details about the location, population, the language, industries, agricultural products in Colombia. And the listening will be divided in two parts. So in, in the first part, you have to complete this chart about Colombia, all right? And the second one, you just have to check if they mention about the beaches, rivers, volcanoes, lakes, snow cape mountains, and how low lab plains, ¿verdad? Vamos a irnos como skipping the parts, so, ¿verdad? Aquí vamos a jugar con la presentación. And then once you finish, um, I have the script with you, ¿verdad? Le voy, a le voy a compartir. I will share with you the script of the conversation so you can practice and check your answers as well. Le voy a compartir también, ¿verdad? El, el listen, ¿verdad? El, 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 como el libreto, right? That they follow in the listeners. And I will also share with you the audio in the chat, all right? I have them right there. But... Eh, Let's see over here. Um, and so we will continue uh, using this activity similar as, as the one we did yesterday. And we will talk about the uh, passive voice. Uh, like, but in this case, it's no longer the simple past. Now is the simple present. I mentioned that yesterday, right? That tonight uh, we would start to talk about the passive voice, same structure, the only difference is that instead of using was or were, we use is. Esta noche vamos a repasar así brevemente el, el, la voz pasiva. En lugar de decir, ¿verdad? La estatua de la libertad fue diseñada por fulano. Vamos a decir el euro es usado en la mayoría de, de Europa. Right? Something that is still uh, happens, right? That is, uh, I would say, uh, active. Okay. Or relevant, right? Esta es la voz pasiva que vamos a estudiar esta noche, but just briefly. And just to finish with the class, no, 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 in the middle of the class, we will practice, uh, hold on. 
uh, no, we will practice some vocabulary. So, and, and let me share the, the screen with you. Vamos a practicar vocabulario también esta noche y estoy haciéndole tiempito un poquito para que ingresen los demás um, to this class over here. Yes, I have it here. All right. So, and also we will practice this, okay? This, right? Similar vocabulary as the one we did yesterday, okay? This one, you see? But in this case, these uh, words and the uh, definitions have to do with industries, right? It has to do with industry. So we have vocabulary, we have listenings, grammar, conversations, and uh, a lot of activities, all right? Nine, nine participants already. So let's begin then. Um, one second, please. Hold on. All right. So let's start with the listening right now, okay? So the first activity is who build them, all right? And what I'm gonna do for you is to share the um, this image with you, but you also have it on the PDF, which I shared with you last Thursday. Ya tienen esta imagen, verdad? Pero para hacerlo un poquito más eh, enfocado, eh, so um, I just sent it to you, right? This is the one. Let me go full screen, and let's try to introduce this. Okay. So let's try to do this, right? Uh, let me double check the uh, chat and see if you if you got this already. Revisemos el chat en WhatsApp. Y, and I can see, yes, you have the image over there. So listen to three tour guides, describe some very old monuments, take notes to answer the questions below, then compare with the partner. Let's start with the following, right? Since you have to take notes, como tiene que tomar nota, Write down the questions below each image, right? Escribamos las preguntas en su cuaderno with some space in between. Uh, like, for example, the pyramids. Who built them? That's question number one. Question number two, why were they built? And then question about Machu Picchu. We have question one, how big is the city? And question number two, when was it discovered? ¿Verdad? ¿Cuándo fue descubierta? Number three, the Great Wall of China. Question number one. Why was it built? And the uh, number, and the, the last one, how long is it? Okay. En las pirámides de Egipto, estamos preguntando quién las construyó. Y cuándo fueron construidas. O por qué fueron construidas. Right. That's question number two. In Machu Picchu, we're saying qué tan amplia, qué tan grande es la ciudad. And then we're also saying when was it discovered? Cuando fue descubierta? In the Great Wall of China, estamos diciendo why was it built? Por qué fue construida? And, uh, and, and also in the Great Wall of China, ¿verdad? La muralla china. La gran muralla china es qué tan extensa es, right? So how long is it? Okay. Entonces mi recomendación es write down the questions, okay? Escribamos las preguntas because you're going to listen to this. The first time and second time, I'll play the listening for you. Primera y segunda uh, vez. Yo reproduzco el, el audio. The third time, I'm going to share it with you, right? I will share the, the audio with you, okay? But remember, this needs to be a challenge, right? That's what I'm playing the listening by myself. No es por buena gente o por mala gente, ¿verdad? Que no le quiera eh, compartir el audio ahorita, pero es cuestión eh, de aprendizaje, right? I think it's better, okay? So let me know when you're ready, please. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Miss Susana Portillo, are you ready? Mr. Francisco, Mr. Yes, teacher. All right, Mr. Cesar. I think we're ready. Okay. All right, so if you just joined this class, what we are doing right now is writing down the questions uh, under each image because I will play the listening right now so that you can get uh, the answers 
to these questions below. Ok. Reproduzco el, el audio y ustedes escriben eh, la, las, las respuestas. Uh, don't write complete sentences right now. Cuando usted esté escuchando, solamente escriba las ideas principales, ¿verdad? No trate de estructurar oraciones completas. Es decir, escriba palabras clave. So write down key words. ¿Ok? Key words about this. I shared this image with you already. Ya les mandé esta imagen en el chat, ¿verdad? Para que todos estemos en sintonía. So everybody is on the same page. All right. Let me know if you're not able to listen to this. Uh, me hacen saber si, 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 si no se escucha, right? Otherwise, just uh, listen up, please. All right. All right. So one, two, three. Page 74, exercise six, listening. Who built them? Listen to three tour guides describe some very old monuments. Take notes to answer the questions below, then compare with a partner. One, the pyramids. Who built them? Why were they built? The pyramids were built more than 4,000 years ago by the Egyptians. The most famous ones are on the west bank of the river Nile, outside of Cairo. They were built as burial places for the Egyptian kings. After a king's death, his body was turned into what is called a mummy. This preserved it. The king's mummy was placed inside the pyramid along with treasures. Two. Machu Picchu. How big is the city? When was it discovered? Machu Picchu is an Inca city in Peru. Construction of the city started in 1450. The ruins are about 2,400 meters above sea level. The city covers about 13 square kilometers. For centuries, the city was buried in the jungle and wasn't discovered again until 1911. Today, Machu Picchu is one of the most famous tourist attractions in all of South America. 3. The Great Wall of China. Why was it built? How long is it? The Great Wall of China is the longest structure ever built. It was built to protect one of the Chinese kingdoms. Much of what exists of the wall today was built during the Ming Dynasty in the late 1400s, although some parts of the wall are much older. The wall is about 11 meters high, and a stone roadway runs along the top of it. The main part of the wall stretches for about 3,400 kilometers. Okay, um, let me play it again, all right? Let me play it again. Remember, just take key uh, notes about this, all right? Because they provide more details which are not part of the questions that you need to answer. Porque ellos dan más detalles que nosotros no, nos interesan, verdad? Pero nos tenemos que enfocar en las dos preguntas de cada imagen, all right? So, second time. Remember, the third time, I will share the audio with you in the WhatsApp group. Okay, so here we go. Page 74, exercise six, listening. Who built them? Listen to three tour guides describe some very old monuments. <laughs> Take notes to answer the questions below, then compare with a partner. One, the pyramids. Who built them? Why were they built? The pyramids were built more than 4,000 years ago by the Egyptians. The most famous ones are on the west bank of the river Nile, outside of Cairo. They were built as burial places for the Egyptian kings. After a king's death, his body was turned into what is called a mummy. This preserved it. The king's mummy was placed inside the pyramid along with treasures. 
2. Machu Picchu. How big is the city? When was it discovered? Machu Picchu is an Inca city in Peru. Construction of the city started in 1450. The ruins are about 2,400 meters above sea level. The city covers about 13 square kilometers. For centuries, the city was buried in the jungle and wasn't discovered again until 1911. Today, Machu Picchu is one of the most famous tourist attractions in all of South America. 3. The Great Wall of China Why was it built? How long is it? The Great Wall of China is the longest structure ever built. It was built to protect one of the Chinese kingdoms. Much of what exists of the wall today was built during the Ming Dynasty in the late 1400s, although some parts of the wall are much older. The wall is about 11 meters high, and a stone roadway runs along the top of it. The main part of the wall stretches for about 3,400 kilometers. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you just joined this class, what we are doing is uh, trying to answer. I'm sorry. So we're trying to answer the uh, questions uh, under each uh, image. So we have the pyramids of Egypt, Machu Picchu, and the Great Wall of China. For the pyramids, we want to know who built them and why were they built. All right, so can I have the first question, please answer it. Can I have the answer of the first question? So who built them? Was it aliens, right? <laughs> like people oh, yeah. say, right? <laughs> yeah, Egyptians, right? There's, yeah. A, there's, there's a TV program, right? Uh, <laughs> that it states that it was aliens who built all of these pyramids like Machu Picchu and, the, and all of these uh, huge structures, right? But no, it was the Egyptians, all right? We, there are some records that uh, prove the evidence or show the evidence, all right? So it was who built them, Egyptians, all right? And why were they built? Why were they built? Is it tourist attraction? Um, because they want to make sacrifices like the Aztecs and Mayas over here or the, for a different reason in there? It's yeah, having idea, but I can say that that's okay. Yes. Well, when when died the pharaoh for mommy for la momia, no sé cómo Yes. Mommies. It was it was What's done that? as a burial site, right? To bury the pharaoh, right? Bury the pharaoh. Let me let me stop sharing this screen, and I'm gonna help you with. With the answer over here, somebody is, is sending the answer right there. All right, take a look at this. We will build like the sun, right? We build the city, right? So we're gonna build the answers right now. Okay, so take a look at this. I'm gonna write the answers uh, here about um, who were they built? I mean, why were they built? To, you know, to bury. No, I'm sorry. Let me let me send this over here. I want to show you the answers in a second, right? But yes, Miss Susanna, uh, you're right. Okay, it's like when the uh, pharaoh, which is the king of Egypt, right? So listen to me. When the pharaoh, el faraón, when the pharaoh passes away, muere, his his body is taken to the uh, to the pyramid, and in the sarcophagus, right? Or in the coffin, so they put the treasures and some belongings, belongings, pertenencias, belongings uh, of the pharaoh. Okay, and they mummify the body in there. So that's what they do. They mummify, or they put the mummy with the treasures, and that is, I would say, like a tomb, right? Una tumba. You know, it's a tomb, right? T O M V, right? Tomb. Yes, Mr. They Francisco. The, the, they mummify the, their pets too. Yes, exactly. Yes, correct. Cats, monkeys. Cats, anything, right? 
anything pressure, you know, pressures that belong to, to the pharaoh was buried along the body. Okay. Yes, you're right. And that's what happened when they discovered the, uh, the, uh, the Tutankhamun, right? Tutankhamun uh, body in there, right? That's a very famous um, mummy in there. Okay. I will share the answers with you in a second because I have, I, I have them over here, right? Uh, you see, I'm not lying to you. So I, I have it here, right? I have the answers in here. Not, not in the best quality that we would like them to have or to be. But at least something, you know, we have something over here. Puede conseguir, verdad, el, 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 la forma escrita del audio, all right? So, which we're going to share with you. Por eso, ahorita no lo vamos a escribir. So, what about Machu Picchu, right? Incas, all right? From Incas, my friends. So, how big is the city? You can write it down too, right? Pueden escribirlo en el chat in WhatsApp or also here uh, in Zoom, or somebody can actually share uh, the answers with me, okay? Let's see, I have something in the chat 2, right now. 2,400 meters. 2,400 meters, 2,400 meters. meters. Sea level, that's the yeah, sea level. Exactly, that is, I would say the mm -hmm. altitude, that is the altitude. Uh, the altitude. I, Yes, right now we're talking about like the territory, all right? Geographically Thir speaking. 13,000 meters. 13,000 square kilometers, I guess. Uh, kilometers. kilometers. Uh -huh, sorry. Is it kilometers? Or Yeah, kilometers, right? Yes. Yeah, is it or meters? No, right? yeah, I think in meters. I meters. think it's meters, yeah, because mm -hmm. El Salvador is 21 or 22,000. It's too big, right? Yes. It's 13,000 uh, square meters. 13,000 metros cuadrados. When was it discovered? What year was it discovered? It was discovered uh, as an accident, right? In 19... 19? 1911. 1911, yeah, correct. 1911, that's right. And I have the answers over here. Yeah, it was in 1911. All right, so let's go to the other part. So the Great Wall of China, right? The Great Wall of China. Why was it built? For Protect, protect, protect. Uh, protect China's kingdom. Yeah, for for uh, protecting a Chinese kingdom, right? And uh, how long is it, right? How long is it, right? Is it very long? Three thousand four hundred. Three thousand four hundred. It says it stretches uh, uh, three thousand four hundred kilometers, right? And it also has a concrete road. It said in in the in the audio something like that like like in the movie right um there are many movies about this but the the latest uh karate kid right karate kid movie is based on that right so there's a there's a fighting scene over there okay so um what about the pyramids the pyramids right the pyramids 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 the the because I want everyone to have uh, the same opportunities as, as everybody else, right? Vamos a hacer equitativos acá. Let me share with you the audio, okay, right now. And I have it here. Si usted ya contestó, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a ver. Page 76. Hold on. Exercise 10. It has coastlines on both. Hold on. Two. Machu Picchu. All right, I found it. I'm sending this to you. In case, in case, in case you want to have it, right? In in case you want to have it. All right. So I'm sending that to you right now. All right. And uh, as a, as an extra practice, all right, or as an extra help, if you already have the answers, you want to double check the answers. I have them over here. Okay. I have the answers over here, which I'm sharing with you through the chat. My recommendation is please listen to the audio uh, and then try to understand what they're saying in, in there and just to check if you understood correctly. Look at, look at the image that I'm sharing with you. Mi recomendación es escuchen el audio, ¿verdad? Una, dos, tres veces, una vez, dos veces y corrobore cuáles son sus respuestas. 
y después está ahí, ¿verdad? El, el, la información, ¿verdad? De forma escrita. Entonces, para que no quede nada en el aire, right? So that's the point, brother. Okay. There's another listening that we're going to complete that we gotta move forward. But uh, before uh, we go forward, you see, this is the information over here, right? I need to ask, I'm gonna ask three volunteers right now, right? I need to ask three volunteers. Uh, but I think I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose the, the readers over here, all right? Let me choose, um, Three students to read the description for uh, these three places, you know, the pyramids, the uh, Machu Picchu, and the uh, Great Wall of China. Voy a elegir a tres personas que me ayuden a leer. All right? So that's what I'm going to do right now. And uh, that's the best quality that I have of the information, ¿verdad? So I apologize. Me disculpo porque es la mejor calidad de imagen que pude obtener de, de esto, ¿verdad? Del, del audio. So I don't have anything else over there. And hopefully you're going to be able to read it. Okay. You're going to be able to read this. So. Ya le mandé esa imagen. Y, y let's, let's select the, the person over here. So Miss Evelyn, you're going to be the first one. You read the, the pyramids. Um, Mr. Edwin uh, Sevillano, you're going to be the, the second one over there. And uh, let's see who's going to help us. And the, the last one should be a, a volunteer, right? Number three, the Great Wall of China, a volunteer, please. All right, Mr. Gilberto, all right. So, Miss Evelyn, the pyramids, Mr. Edwin, uh, Machu Picchu, and Mr. Gilberto uh, would be the Great Wall of China, all right? All oh, right. Okay. Go ahead, please. Yes, sir. Uh, the Pyramide, no sé si está bien. Who yeah. built them? Why were they built? Uh, then one, the pyramide were built more than 4,000 years ago by the Egyptians. The most famous ones are on the west bank of the river Nile, famous uh, outside of Cairo. They served as a um, burial place for the Egyptian kings. After a king's death, his body was turned into what is called a um, mummy. Mm -hmm. preserved. It's preserved. It, the king's mummy was placed inside the pyra pyramid together with treasures and the king's belong belongings. Okay, thank you so much. So let me just go back in there. So they served as a burial place. Significa que ellos los usaban o servían como lugares de entierro, right? Burial places, verdad? Entierro. Um, and the last part it says, uh, dentro de la pirámide, inside the pyramid, together with treasures, verdad, junto a sus tesoros y las pertenencias del, king, del rey, verdad? Belongings son las pertenencias, verdad? De cada persona, belongings. You may write that word down, right? Your computer, your car, your house, if you have, uh, if you're paying a house, something that belongs to you, those are belongings, right? Pertenencias. Okay. Yes. Uh, Mr. Edwin, number two, please. Thank you, uh, Miss, Miss Evelyn. Sir. Okay, uh, Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, when was it, Begon, when was it discovered? Machu Picchu is an ancient Incan city in Peru. Construction of the city start in 4050. The ring are about for, uh, 2000. 24, uh, 24, oh, oh. about sea level. That's about 7,000. 80 feet. The city cover about 30 square kilometer. That's about five square miles. Five of six, teacher. Hold on, hold on. 
um, for centuries. No, no. Uh, the, that's about six five, square miles. Five, yeah. five square miles. Five square miles. Five yes. square miles. For centuries, the city was buried in the jungle and wasn't discovered again until 1911. Today, Machu Picchu is one of the most famous tourist attractions in all of South America. In all of South America, yes. Okay, thank you. So one thing is uh, the construction started in 1450 and it's about 2,400 meters above sea level, but the, the construction commenzó in 1450 and then it has 2,400 meters above sea level. It's 2,400 meters del nivel del mar. Uh, it, that's about 7,800 feet, ¿verdad? lo cual equivale a, a esto, ¿verdad? 7,800 pies. Uh, and the city covers 13 square, it was actually 13 uh, square kilometers. Uh, kilometer. just, it was Mr. Francisco, yes. Right? Yeah, kilometer. It's, it's big, right? It's big. It's very big, right? Uh, and then we have, that's about five square miles of cinco, cinco millas cuadradas. And it was discovered in 1911, uh, South America. It is a very famous touristic attraction. Yeah, that's true. And the last one, it's should, Mr. Gilberto. Go ahead, please, sir. Thank you, Mr. Edwin. Are you ready, sir? Yes, all right. I think you're having a problem with your mic, with your microphone, uh, Mr. Gilberto. Because we cannot hear you, sir. All right, yes, sorry about it. Yeah, would you try it again, please? Puede intentarlo eh, nuevamente. I cannot hear you, sir. Okay. Uh, can I have another volunteer, please? Yeah, I'm so sorry. You may have another chance uh, later on. Yes, dejémoslo abierto también, ¿verdad? Que sea de forma voluntaria, right? So it should be a voluntary task. Mr. Alfonso, thank you, sir. Go ahead. <clears throat> the Great Wall of China. And number three? Yes, sir. Okay. The Great Wall of, of China, why was it both built? Mm -hmm. How long is it? Yes. Man two, the Great Wall of China is the long, long, long mm -hmm. Man-made. Man-made structure, structure yes. ever be built? It was built to protect one of the Chinese kingdom. Mm -hmm. Much of what exit of the wild today was building built mm -hmm. during during the Ming Dynasty. Dynasty mm -hmm. in the late and one thousand four hundred. Although far parts of the world are much old, older and go back to around 200 BC, mm -hmm. the wall is about 35 feet high or 11 meters. 11 meters. meters. Mm -hmm. And a stone. And a stone road wide rooms along the top of mm -hmm. top of of feet yes the main part of the world street stretches yes for uh, for about uh, two thousand two thousand two thousand mm -hmm. meals mm -hmm. that is about three thousand for four hundred Kilometers. Kilometers. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Yes. Now, let me, let me try to, let's say, interpret or to uh, translate what we have over here, right? 
Ese es. Vamos a hacer como una interpretación simultánea, una traducción simultánea. Las pirámides fueron construidas hace más de 4.000 años por los egipcios. La más, fam la más famosas son las que se encuentran en el, la parte oeste del río Nilo. Ok. Fuera de Cairo. O en, o en las afueras de Cairo. Ellos, ser, bueno, fu fueron utilizadas como lugares o sitios de enterramiento, de entierro por los reyes, para los reyes, para los faraones. Después de que un faraón moría, su cuerpo se, era momificado y era preservado. Y junto con el, el cuerpo del rey, la, de la momia, era puesto en la pirámide junto a sus tesoros y sus pertenencias. Something like that, right? So that's like the translation of this then, okay? And then we have Machu Picchu. Eh, ¿cuándo, fu ¿Cuándo fue co construido, por así decirlo? ¿Cuándo comenzó? ¿Cuándo fue descubierto? Uh, Machu Picchu es una ciudad inca antigua, ancient, right? Ancient means antiguo o antigua, right? En Perú. La construcción de la ciudad comenzó en 1450. Las ruinas... Um, tienen una altura de, o se encuentran a 2,400 metros sobre el nivel del mar. Eso equivale a 7,800 uh, pies. La ciudad tiene una extensión de, de 13 kilómetros cuadrados, alrededor de 5 millas cuadradas. Por siglos, la ciudad estuvo escondida, ¿verdad? O como oculta o enterrada, si se traduce, en la jungla. Y, y no fue descubierta sino hasta 1911. Hoy en día Machu Picchu es una de, los, de las atracciones turísticas más famosas en todo Sudamérica. All right? So that's where we say more there. And then the last one we have the Great Wall of China, uh, por qué fue construida. La Gran Muralla China es la estructura más extensa o más larga que hecha por el hombre que se ha construido jamás. Fue construida para proteger uno de los imperios, uno de los, eh, uno de los reinos chinos. Mucho de, de, la, de, lo, de lo que existe de la pirámide, perdón, de, de la muralla, hoy en día fue construida durante la dinastía Ming, okay, en, a finales de los 1400. A pesar de que las partes son más antiguas de, de, la, de la muralla, bueno, algunas fueron construidas alrededor del el año 200 antes de Cristo. BC, right? Before Christ. Ok. And, uh, la muralla tiene 35 pies de alto o eso equivale a 11 metros y tiene una como una calle de un camino de piedra que se estrecha, ¿verdad? Y está en la parte superior de, de la muralla. La parte principal de la muralla, ¿verdad? Tiene un alcance de 2,000 millas o 3,400 kilómetros. And that's very long, right? 3,400 meters. That's very kilometers, I'm sorry. That's very long. So this is like the, uh, the information that we have, okay? Nice. So any questions about this? That's very interesting information, right? It's a good audio with sound and everything, right? It was customized. Okay, the audio about the pyramids was Egyptian music, right? The audio about Machu Picchu was uh, from Inca's music, okay? And the one from, um, from the Great Wall of China, it was from Chinese music, right? Todos estuvieron, verdad, con música de, de lugar, as, as you were able to listen over there, okay? So, coming up next, what do we have for this class? So, what else do we have? So, as I told you yesterday, page 74, we have a conversation to introduce um, passive voice, but passive voice with the simple present. La voz pasiva ya la estudiamos, quizás no es exhaustivamente, pero ya tenemos las bases y bases sólidas. You know, we have a strong foundations about the passive voice in the simple past. And right now we will cover The, uh, sim, uh, the passive voice with the present simple or the simple present. Vamos a estudiar la voz pasiva a través de esta conversación. So, listen up, take a look, enjoy the conversation, please. Okay. 
Page 75, Exercise 8. Hold on. Let me just make sure that I'm sure in the audio. Yes, I'm sure in the audio over here. Here we go. Conversation. I need some information. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union? I think the euro is used in most of Europe. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Huh. Well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? <laughs> well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? <laughs> this is a hair salon. <laughs> you have the wrong number. <laughs> can be. A... Can be. <laughs> yeah, it can happen, right? It can be, right? Yes. That was a misunderstanding, right? It's a misunderstanding. Un malentendido. It's a misunderstanding. What happened right there? He was calling, asking for information because apparently he wants to travel to Europe. And then he got the wrong number, as you can see there, right? So instead of calling the travel agency, he was calling a beauty salon, right? Or a hair salon, okay? So this is, uh, could be a real story, right? Could be a real story. That might happen, right? It might happen. Podría suceder. We have Kelly and then we have John. Please, two volunteers that can help me practice this and then we move forward to the explanation part and then the practice part. Thank you, Ms. Carmen. Somebody else, please. Number two, right? Another volunteer, please. Mr. Nelson, right? Did you, did you speak? No, no? Or? Okay. All right, yeah, okay. And then I have two already. Thank you, Mr. Alfonso. It will be Ms. Carmen and then your Nelson, Ms. Mr. Nelson. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, go ahead, please, uh, Ms. Carmen. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currencies are used in the European Union? Where? The European Union. <laughs> I think the hero is used in most of Europe. All right. And then, and is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. How? Well, what about credit card? Are they accepted everywhere? How will I know? Well, you are a travel agent, aren't you? What? It's <laughs> a, this is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Yeah, I'm sorry, right? <laughs> yeah, that happens over there, right? When they call you and they say, Mr. F Mr. Fulano, right? Mr. So-and-so. No, that's the wrong number, right? That's the wrong number. Okay, so if you want to make a translation to this is... Uh, Basically, he's calling because he needs some information, right? Because what currency is used in the European nation? This word, currency, eh, which I'm going to underline right now, vamos a subrayar esta palabra. Currency es la moneda que se utiliza en un país, right? For example, here in El Salvador, we use dollars, right? No longer colones or pesos like people call them, right? So our currency is dollars from the united states because we have canadian dollars but it's u.s dollars that's our currency and but in the european union in la union europea they use europe in most of them right they had an issue okay um so he asked about the currency and then she replies like um i think the euro right so but she doesn't know right and what about the language? So do they speak English over there? So is English spoken much there? Uh, Hablan inglés ahí? Voz pasiva, right? And then she says, I really have no idea. And it's true, right? Because you have France, the United Kingdom, Germany, Belgium, the Scandinavian countries. So they have different languages, all right? So that's why. And then uh, it says, hmm, what about credit cards? Are they accepting everywhere, verdad? Aceptan las la tarjetas de créditos en cualquier lugar. How would I know, verdad? ¿Cómo lo voy a saber? Le dice la, la, la muchacha. How would I know? ¿Cómo lo sabría? And then he says, well, you're a travel agent. Y lo que usted ya sabe, verdad? Eso es un agente de viaje, verdad? Aren't you, verdad? 
And then she says, uh, this is a wrong number. This is a beauty salon. Bye-bye. <laughs> you just wasted your time and my time over here. Okay. So as you can see, we have the uh, passive voice with the verb V in is or R. Aquí está la, 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 la voz pasiva. Dice la moneda que es usada en la es tal cosa, ¿verdad? What is the cur what currency is used in European Union? What's the only difference uh, compared to the other compared to the other passive voice? La única diferencia es que en este caso la voz pasiva en lugar de ponerle el was o el were va a llevar el is para tercera persona y el uh, y el are casi nunca se va a ocupar, ¿verdad? Para plurales, podríamos decir. That's the only difference. Okay, we're going to see some examples. Another example that we have over here. Who can tell me another example in which the passive voice is used? Who can tell me, please? Another example. You just read it, right? ¿Quién se anima a decirme? Okay, en tal, en tal línea, cuando dice fulanito, uh, that's the passive voice. Yep, I'm waiting. The hero is used in most of Europe. Correct, yes, the Europe, 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 because if you say hero, that's something else. <laughs> <laughs> the Europe. Yeah, that's like Superman, right? So <laughs> Europe, Europe, right? Like European, right? Europe. Yeah, Europe is used in most European, in most Europe, I'm sorry. Okay, another one, you have it right there, right? In the next line, okay. In the next uh, line, um, and okay. is English spoken much there? Correct. Yes, it's and is English is spoken much there? It's a question, right? So is mm -hmm. English is spoken much there? And then yes. she says, "I really have no idea." Thank you so much. All right. The next one would be. What would be the next one, over there? Next question. Are they, are they accepted? everywhere correct are they accepted everywhere are, you know she says i'm not sorry he says are they right and he's talking about the credit card so he's saying are mm -hmm. credit cards accepted act act accepted everywhere and that's it right so we have one two three four uh, let's see uh examples of the uh passive voice Let's move to the next slide, all right? Like this, take a look. For the simple present, use the present of B plus the past participle. It's the same structure, almost, almost, right? Almost the same structure as the uh, passive voice with the simple past. With just one uh, a slight difference, right? Con una pequeña eh, diferencia, okay? Active voice, voz activa decimos, they use the Europe in most Europe, ¿verdad? Ellos utilizan, es decir, los europeos utilizan el, el euro en, en la mayoría de, de Europa. But it sounds redundant, right? Suena redundante, okay? So that's why we don't say it that way. Instead of that, we say el euro es usado en la mayoría de Europa. It sounds better that way, right? So Europe is used in most Europe, okay? So they speak English in many European countries. Like that is okay. En ese caso, usted puede ocupar la voz activa o la voz pasiva. So you can use either one, okay? Or English is spoken in many European countries. What do they speak? They speak English, right? So, and they speak English uh, in, in many European countries. Or you can say English is spoken in many European countries. The emphasis is on the is let's say on the language, not like the people, the speakers, right? Si se fija, verdad? El enfoque es en el idioma, no en los hablantes. Over there, they manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. Muchos automóviles, perdón, ellos manufacturan muchos automóviles en Europa. Or a lot of cars are manufactured in Europe. O muchos automóviles son manufacturados en Europa. So The example is on cars, okay, the emphasis, the other one, the example is, or the emphasis is on the, on the language. And the first one, the focus is on Europe, which is the currency, la moneda, right? Currency over there. Okay, 
now there comes the practice part for you. Vamos a practicar. All right. So we're going to practice right now. Let me share with you um, the following exercise, similar to the one we did yesterday. Okay. Similar to the one we did yesterday, the, in which you just have to track the uh, parts of the uh, sentence or question to complete each question or statement. Vamos a, compartirle el, a compartirles el ejercicio que vamos a practicar, right? Okay, just one second. Um, all right. Watch one moment, please. All right. So take a look, take a look at my screen, please. So this is what you're gonna be working on, but it, it has to be an interactive uh, game, right? This is the same, right? This is the same thing that you're gonna be practicing, okay? Uh, using the, the passive voice, and I'll be sending uh, to you the link to access this. Esto lo van a completar de forma interactiva y lo que hacen igual que ayer, solamente arrastran las palabras o las frases que están en la parte superior, right? This is like an intro, right? And this is, I would say, uh, easy for you, right? It's gonna be easy, right? This is just to practice, okay? You're gonna have the chance to write things down. Va a tener la oportunidad de escribir, adelantito de la clase, okay? So just one second, please. Um, and... Um, All right, so I'm going to share this with you right now. Le voy a mandar la, 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 el formato eh, interactivo de esto. So and that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, uh, I'm ready. And now, I'm sending this to you. Oh, let me speak in. Okay, you got it. Let me know if it's working, please. Is it working? Yep. Yes. I think you can do this like in one minute or less than that. All right. Okay, but listen to me, don't start yet, but, but if you already started, that's okay. So I will send you to a breaker room. And uh, what you will do is basically uh, two things, all right? You will do basically two things. Number one, practice the conversation. Uh, this one, right, when he's calling to get information, all right, and he got the wrong number. So you will practice in the breakout room this, you know, the conversation. That's number one. Number two, uh, do this individually. And then once you finish, take turns reading this paragraph. Practicamos la conversación y luego completamos el ejercicio individual. And then you, you read the exercise. They load, uh, hacemos turnos leyendo verdad el párrafo, okay? In the breaker room, right. So complete this, please, right now, as I'm speaking. Completemos esto, por favor. All right, so I just opened the, the, the breaker room. So breaker rooms are open right now, okay?
All right, so could you please join the breaker room? So we're going to go ahead and, and then complete that exercise. And once we finish, we will move forward to the uh, vocabulary, which has to do with, um, with uh, tonight's topic, which I have over here, okay? Which we have over here. This one, okay? This one over here. So once we finish the uh, conversation and also practicing the passive voice, we will start with this vocabulary, which has to do with the industries. Okay. Thank you. I'll go ahead and join the uh, breaker rooms just to uh, make sure that uh, everything is understood and that you're following instructions. Could you join the breaker rooms, everyone? Miss Susana Hernandez, Miss uh, Portillo, Miss Evelyn, um, and Miss Catherine. All right. All right, so Ms. Ms. Susana, do you have any issues like entering the, the uh, breaker room? Sí, pero me regresó. Oh, okay, so. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, join room number five, please. Please. Okay. Do you see the message? See. Sí. All right. There you go. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Raul, are you still driving, sir? Mr. Melendez, are you still driving? Yes, yes, I'm driving. Okay, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, I understand. All right. Don't worry about it. Hi, teacher. Hello. I guess you have problems with the with the audio, Mr. Alberto, because we cannot hear you. Right? We cannot hear you. Yeah. Let me let me send uh, somebody. Um, here, you know, that can help you practice, everyone. Let's see. Um, this is room number one. Okay. Thank you, Brett. I'm sorry. All right. So, number one over there. All right. So, Miss Evelyn will come here to, to, to practice with you. Okay, uh, Miss Susanna. All right. There you go. Okay. Hey, Evelyn. Hi. Hello, evening. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> I'm sorry, yes, Miss Susana. La sacó, verdad, del grupo. No pude estar, vea. Mm -hmm. Vaya, la voy a mandar con Catherine y Mr. Nelson. Vamos a ver, sala número 6 le tiene que aparecer. Ok. okay. Permítanme. Aparece aquí. Ajá, porque quiero ver su nombre. Aquí está. Vamos a ver a sala 6. Can you try now, please? Vamos a ver. Yes. No, no le apareció el mensaje. No, no me aparece. Bien raro, fíjese. Tal vez lo que puede hacer es, si puede, 
par de segundos salirse de la llamada y volver a ingresar. Sí, ¿no? voy a hacer ahorita esto. voy a... Y aquí yo espero. Ok. Much better. I really have no idea. Oh, well, what about credit cards? Are they accept everywhere? Everywhere. Oh, good. I know. I know. Well, your uh, travel agency aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. <laughs> no lo puede hacer así como muy dramatizado. No, pero ya, ya le va saliendo. Se no, sale, but, ya le... no, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that's okay. Bravo. That was good. Sir. Ahora invertamos. Ahora será ahí con Claudia. Empiezo yo. Al revés. Ajá. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the U European Union? European Union, it would be. European, European Union. European, European Union. Yes. In the electronic and textile industry as well. No, bueno, también. Excelente. Okay. Sobre ese ejercicio vamos a desarrollar entonces, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, muy bien. Yeah, hello, hello. Just a conversation and the, uh, the information about Taiwan, right? Information about the, the okay. Yeah, sí. about that one, correct. And I guess you finished already, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we finished. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was quick, right? That was very quick, right? All right, let's see here. Yeah, gentlemen first. Oh, gentlemen, yes. first. <laughs> gentlemen first over here, right? Correct. <laughs> Cambiamos las reglas aquí. Si it's, puede. It, yeah, it's the other way around. The other way around. ¿verdad? Al revés. The other way around. We swap. Okay. The you order. Swap. Correct. Correct. Uh -huh. You swap. You swap rolls, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Let me just check one of the breaker rooms. And I'm going to give them one minute and then you come back. All right. Okay. Please. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we're back. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. So let's continue with this. Um, so in this case, can I have someone to help me with, uh, with the last paragraph, right? Con el último párrafo que hicimos, which is, which is this one, right? Okay. Just one second. I'm going to share the screen right now to you. All right. Vamos a compartir pantalla. Here we go. So in this case, it will be many crops. Can somebody help me? Many crops. Is it is grown or are grown? Are grown. Are grown. Are grown, right? Because it's it's plural, right? Okay. In Taiwan, some crops. Uh huh. I consume. Are consume? Yes, correct. Locally, but other others, uh, uh huh. It's grown. No, this one, other export. Ah, other export no <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd exported, right? I'd exported. So, T, T, it's grown, it's grown, it's grown in grown. cooler parts of the island and rise. It's cultivated. It's cultivated, right? It's cultivated. 
in warmer parts. Fishing is also an important industry. A wide variety of seafood uh -huh. is caught, caught. And, and it's cheap. It's ship, right? Shipped. Okay, all over the world. Many people are employed. Are employed. Are employed. Correct. Yeah, many people are employed in the electronics and textile industries as well. All right. So that's the exercise. And let's check how much did we get, right? Let's see how much we got on this one. And here we go. Nice. So, uh, and we completed this in one minute and 57 seconds. Okay. And I guess most of you got 100%. Creo que todos obtuvieron el 100% de esto. Okay. At, at, or maybe not, right? Mr. Alfonso is like saying, no, right? It was not 100% over there. All right. But that's okay. We're still learning, you know, that's that's okay. There's no problem. Uh, so let's go to, to, to the following screen. And now uh, you're gonna have the opportunity to, to make sentences over here. Hold on, please. Um, I think I have an exercise over here. Let me end this, keep it. And let me accept this. I'm gonna share the screen with you again. All right, let me just review something over here. Um, okay. Yes, we're gonna complete this exercise. I think it's 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 okay to do this exercise. All right, just to finish with the passive voice and to move forward with the next uh, topics that I have for you. All right, Th this is the time to write something down. Right, it's a moment to describe it. Okay, so. To start with, let me uh, send to you uh, this exercise so you can write so you can write it down. Le voy a mandar esa captura de pantalla al chat, and then we are going to focus in in this one. Right? It says, complete the information with is or are. Completemos la información con is or are and the past participle of the verse in the box. Y con el, el, el pasado participio del verbo. Right? Remember that if it's a regular verb, si estos verbos son regulares, like for example, base, is, it, you just need to add D or ED. Based, exported, imported, and used. Those are regular verbs, okay? Know and speak are irregular verbs. So you have non, a no, le agregan una N, and speak, you, you write spoken, okay? And those are the regular forms of those words. So I'm sharing with you right now the uh, this image, which you have to complete, okay? So try to do it individually, all right? So try to do it individually, and then you move forward to, to complete it in, in groups of three, all right? So allow me just one second, please. Let me send this to you. One moment, please. Um, here we go. Yes. All right. So as you can see in, in the exercise that I just shared with you in the chat, uh, this has six sentences and, and they are written down in passive voice. Aquí no tiene que usted cambiar de voz activa a pasiva. La oración ya es voz pasiva, solo tiene que complementarla. All right. Completarla, perdón. So Portuguese, not Spanish, is spoken in Brazil, ¿verdad? El portugués, no español, es hablado en Brasil. Diamonds and gold from South Africa, y usted va a completar la oración con uno de los verbos que está en ese cuadrito. All right? That's what you're going to do. But that's just one of the tasks I'm assigning to you right now. There comes the chance to, to take a short quiz in groups of three or in pairs. It's la segunda actividad se las estoy compartiendo en este momento, all right? So, but uh, what you're working, mientras ustedes están trabajando en, en, en el ejercicio anterior, yo les comparto a multiple choice quiz that you, that you have to complete in, in person in groups of three. Esto lo hacemos individual, se los pido de favor, right? Eh, y sí, verdad, 
obviamente, si me atrevo a decir esa palabra, van a compartir después ustedes, ¿verdad? Y, y, y leer cómo les quedó y todo, pero hagámoslo de forma individual y escribámoslo, por favor. Y luego les voy a compartir, les estoy compartiendo un, un cuestionario, right? So a questionnaire, multiple choice. So that's what I'm sharing with you right now. The questionnaire uh, has to be completed in person or in group, ¿verdad? El cuestionario sí lo podemos hacer en grupo, ¿ok? So, just one second, I'll be here. Now, the quiz has like 16 questions, but you don't have to complete them all. So no problem, because we don't really have the time. Entonces vamos a hacer dos cosas a partir de este momento, right? The first one is complete this individually, right? Completamos esto de forma individual. And number two, it's a uh, quiz that I just shared with you, all right? Which is <clears throat> this one, all right? Hold on. Uh, what is it? What is it? I didn't open it, right? Sorry. Let me share the screen with you right now. Les comparto pantalla con titulación. Permítanme. Okay, so this is the one that I uh, want you to complete in purse, but in groups of three, all right? In, in this one, you just have to choose uh, A or B, right? For example, football is a popular sport it plays in many countries or it is played in many countries. And you know that this is going to be uh, easy for you, right? Y hagámoslo no solamente por completar la cuestión de esto, sino que para practicar, ¿verdad? Cada enunciado, right? Many movies are made in Hollywood every year, right? Digamos la respuesta, pero también digamos la oración de una sola vez, right? De corrido, you know, at once, de una sola vez. Okay, this is going to be the second ten, all right? Any questions that you have for me? Uh, my friends, uh, let's see. Um, let me ask Mr. Cesar, do you have any question? No, teacher. All right, thank you. So let me open the breaker rooms right now so you uh, start practicing this, okay? All right, so please join the breaker rooms. What room? A white for the spirit for the chest. Bueno, solo voy a terminar de copiar. Mr. Nelson, hello, sir. It's Catherine. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. Um, do you have any questions for me? Or, or everything it's okay? Is everything okay? Uh, right now, I, uh, we make the individual part. Okay. So you made the individual part, okay? Individual, so. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe later, have a question. All right. Okay. So once you finish this part, uh, Miss Susanna and uh, Miss uh, Evelyn, let's try to uh, work in this, uh, I mean, on this quiz, all right? It's like the passive voice, all right? Please, all right.
Oh, I see in the WhatsApp group. No. It's in the WhatsApp group, correct, yes. Yes, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Guarde. Me llega a el niño, yo ¿no? Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. So let's try to do this together, right? Hello, hello. teacher. Hello. Si ya lo completaron de forma individual, podemos revisar. We can we check, mm -hmm. check it out. Yo no. No, todavía no, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Mire, el uh -huh. no, el pasado es un verbo irregular, ¿verdad? Yes, hay los, los únicos ir, ir, irregulares aquí es no, que en, en participio es non con una N después de la W. Solo le agrega una N. Y ah, okay. speak, speak cambia a spoken, así como okay. lo vimos en la conversación. Y aquí está también. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pero ya se usó, digamos. Solamente le queda no de irregular. Y los demás son normales. Regular, yes. Correct. Ah, ok. De hecho, ayer les mandé un, un Word document y también les mandé un PDF con el, los verbos, ¿verdad? No se los conjugué ni nada, pero por lo menos ustedes ya tienen la tablita para que los clasifique. All right. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Y la puede imprimir, ¿verdad? Y tenerla ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, está así. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, de hecho, sí la tenemos. Uh -huh. Solo que no lo... Bueno, yo no me quedo chance de hacerlo, pero sí. aquí lo tengo. Yo el, el viernes pienso yo también revisar eso porque tam, con el, el, lo del pasado ahí me va a servir también para, para matar dos pájaros de un solo tiro. Les voy a decir, este es el pasado, así se pronuncia, de los verbos regulares y este es el que vamos a ocupar. Lo otro lo ocupamos para la voz pasiva y ya lo descartamos, digamos. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. All right. I'll see you in a second. Ya voy a regresar por acá. Ok. <laughs> okay. Yes. Hello everyone, Mr. Francisco, Miss Flor, and Miss Sonia. Yes, I scare you, right? Siempre los asusto de esa forma. Hello. No, ni quiera Dios, ni quiera Dios. Estaba bien clavado en la pantalla. Are you still working on the uh, first exercise individually? This one? Estamos trabajando en este, en este momento, ¿sí? Sí. Okay. okay. Yes. Any questions for me or any doubts, sir? No. No? Okay. All right. All right. Bueno, ya le, le, le aviso, ¿verdad? Eh, I'll be back, right? Voy a regresar, espero. <laughs> All right. Voy a tratar de no estar tan cerca del monitor. <laughs> ok. Hello, again. Hello, teacher. All right, so can you help me with number two and number three? my friends number two yes okay um diamond diamonds and gold from south africa are exported by country all over the world correct yes yes diamonds and gold yeah correct are exported thank you do you have number three miss susana and number three I often go to the library and some books to read. Oh, no, but you're doing the quiz, uh, right? <laughs> and borrow, borrow, and borrow. But, but look, look at my screen, please. Could you look at my screen? Look at my screen. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, like, what, <laughs> I was like, what is she <laughs> doing? <laughs> <laughs> Number adelantada. Number three. <laughs> the US dollar is using in Puerto Rico. Correct. The US dollar is, uh, I'm sorry, the US dollar is used in Puerto Rico. Yes, okay. correct. Correct. It's used. Thank you. All right. I'll be back. So once you finish this part, uh, Catherine and, and uh, Mr. Nelson and Miss Susana, 
Yes, you have to complete this part, right? This one. Like I often go to the library. No me perdió, verdad? Porque ya había revisado. No. <laughs> and you say Barbara, okay. Y yo dije, está haciendo lo del quiz. Por eso le dije, mire uh -huh. mi pantalla. <laughs> uh, that's okay. That's okay. All right. So if you finish uh, the uh, first part, which is this one, si terminamos esta primera parte, compartámoslo. Let's help each other. Apoyémonos. And let's move to the other one, right? To the quiz que usted mencionó, Miss Susana. Right? This one. This quiz. Okay. okay? Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. All right, so uh, I guess you finished the first exercise. Could you please help me with um, number four, five, and six? First, um, yeah, how I? Let me see. Number four. Hawaii. Hawaii is known for mm -hmm. its beautiful beach. All right. Yes. Hawaii is known for its beautiful beaches. All right. And let's see, Mr. Uh, Edwin. Uh, what about yes. many electronic products? Many electronics products are imported by Japan, Japan and Korea. It's an important industry for these two countries. Yeah, that is correct. Many electronic products um, are exported. Is it exported or imported? I, I think it's exported. All right. Import, they are go out, go out the country. The, no. When you are exported, you yeah, you take it out. You out. take it out. Yeah. You go yeah. out the country. Yeah. 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 Correct. So that means that diamonds in, in gold from South. Yeah, you're right. So number two is imported, right? Because the uh, the gold and diamonds is 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 found in South Africa and taken out. You know, it's it's ah, ellos yeah. exporta a mm -hmm. otros países. Y... It, it, it's imported by by countries. So, yeah. So yeah, you're right. Because the other countries. Uh, Who was? Yeah. A otros lugares. Correct. So mm -hmm. South Africa is the producer, and then the other ones are the uh, consumers, right? Con All right, mm -hmm. I see that the customers. But in this case, in Japan and in Korea are the producers. Of electronics, oh, the product. correct, yeah. and they wow. export them to other countries all over the world, the world, right? Yeah, correct. Okay, Mr. Francisco, number six. Six, the economy in many Iceland countries, such as Jamaica, is based on tourism. All right, so such as Jamaica, you say based, yeah, correct. It is based in on tourism, right? In tourism, like El Salvador, right? So we're we based we based uh, the economy uh, on tourism, right? Yes. yes. And also, and also the the money that is sent uh, from the United States, right, to El Salvador, de las remesas, right? Yeah. So. ¿Cómo se dice remesas? You say like remittances. Remittances. Yes. Remittances. Thanks. Yes, yes. All right. So now the second step for you uh, is to go to the next exercise, which is this one. You know, quiz. the quiz. Yes. In this, I guess you can do it like easily because it's one is the passive voice and the other one is the present. All right. So easily, right? Football is a popular sport. It is played in many countries in the world. And then you go number two, number three, and just like that. All right. And as, as always, uh, you have the answers somewhere over there, but I guess you can do this like in five minutes or less, all right? Two or three minutes, okay? Or take your time if you wish. All right. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Hello, hello. Ah, pero no lo tengo que guardar. I'm, I'm Ajá, sí, pero lo tengo que guardar antes. 
Espérame que esto está bien lento, esta computadora creo que ya está pidiendo a gritos de esperanza de que la cambie. Que la cambie, en verdad. Sí. En está lo que lenta. el compañero comparte, teacher, tenemos Ahí está. en la 2. Yeah, let me help you. En la 2 y en la 5. Yes, exported and imported, right? Yes. Sí. Yeah, I know. Vaya. Eh, the producers are South Africans, right? Los productores de diamantes son sudafricanos, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y, y esto, los demás países, ¿verdad? Estos reciben la acción, ¿verdad? By countries mm -hmm. all over the world, right? Estos reciben la acción. But on number five, we have the Japanese and the Koreans, like they produce Samsung, ¿ok? Sony products, right? So electronics. Exactly. So, so these guys are the producers, so they export this, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I see, yes. exactly. Like, like tourism, for example, right? It's an important industry for us, right? El turismo, mm -hmm. it's important for us, right? Same, the same way, uh, um, so, so is, let's see, the, uh, this electronic uh, exportation, uh, it's important to them, right? O sea, las exportaciones mm -hmm. son importantes, you know, for the Japanese too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. En la, ah, cuestión, okay. en la cuestión de los diamantes, you know, diamonds and gold, uh, remember that Great Britain, recuérdense que el imperio británico, ellos expropiaron todo eso, ¿verdad? Encontraron oro, oro y diamante. Mm -hmm. Y ahí hicieron su minita de oro, literal. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. La ventaja right. de llevar mil años de ventaja sobre <laughs> exactly. esta zona de acá. Exacto, exacto, mm. exacto. Yes. Okay. So, um, would you help me with number with number three, four, and five? Uh, let's see, uh, Miss Sarai, Mr. Caesar, number four, and Miss Claudia, number five. The U.S. dollar, uh, Miss yeah. Sarai. Uh, 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 the U.S. dollars mm -hmm. is used in Puerto Rico. Correct, it's used, ¿verdad? Digámoslo así como que no tuviera la D. Ah, por, por, it's cuestión, por cuestiones de pronunciación, es mejor decirlo así. Yo los explico el miércoles, ¿por qué? Ah, okay. Jueves. Okay. Right. It's used. Mr. Caesar, uh, Hawaii. Hawaii is known for its beautiful beaches. All right. Ahora un, un tip de, de pronunciación, ¿verdad? Y esto lo voy a explicar, lo voy a explicar también. Um, Dígalo como que está diciendo solamente la N, la O y la N juntas. Non. 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 Ah. Non. 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 Como de non, ¿verdad? Pero digan non. 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 Como que digan no, pero que con una N. Non. Non. Así. Non como razón. Non. Non. Hawaii is non for its beautiful beaches. Un poquito largo, ¿verdad? Hawaii is non... Okay. Yes. Okay. And then, Miss Claudia. Uh, mm -hmm. Money electronic products mm -hmm. are export be mm -hmm. Japan and Korea. It's an import industry for these two countries. For these two countries, correct. Yes. Uh, en cuestiones de pronunciación, pero esto no lo hemos visto, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Export eh, es le agrega ed y va a decir como it, es exported. 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 Many electronic products are exported by Japan and Korea. All right. So the next exercise will be uh, this quiz. All right. Aquí sí nos vamos a quedar como medio camino, ¿verdad? Porque vamos a tener hasta las 9 y 40, lo más, para seguir con la clase. Eh, okay. The D is just to practice. It's just to practice. All right. Y lo mejor, que, lo mejor que podríamos hacer es que usted agarra, por ejemplo, eh, Saraí, la primera y dice, fútbol is a popular sport, y mira las opciones y de una sola vez lo complementa. It is played in many countries in the world. Y así continúa Mr. César. Many movies, okay. y usted mira las opciones, los tres puntitos le dicen que es el espacio. Ustedes ya saben. Right? Okay, many mm -hmm. movies, you go, are made. Aquí solo hay dos, dos opciones, right? Tiene la voz pasiva y el presente, entonces no hay donde perderse. Mm -hmm. right? no. Ok. Y ya sabemos okay. que la, la voz pasiva se hace de, de, de las dos palabras, ¿verdad? El verbo to be mm -hmm. y el, el participio. So, you just do mm -hmm. it. All right. Nice. 
Ok. Vaya. Comienza con la primera. ¿Qué se okay. hizo, mis... Hello, hello. Oh, esta vez oh. no me asustó. Ya, yeah, I know. Entré así despacito. Ok. <risa> yeah. Yes. Ya se me escucha. Hola. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Right, so are, you, are you working on this one already? Like this short quiz? Teacher, I have a question in, in the exercise one. Ok. And number three, uh, the USA dollar is, pero no sé si it is not o solo is based in Puerto Rico. It's used. It's used. It's used in Puerto Rico, yes. It's used in Puerto Rico. Correct. It's used. Yeah, it's used, it's used in Puerto Rico. Uh, y la seis. The last one over there, uh, let's see. Um, eh, is based is based on tourism al revés, la entonces sí la tenía buena <risa> la teníamos sí. buena pero, pero no me sonaba que en... ah sí la economía de esta isla está basada en el turismo exactamente okay. exacto exactly. makes sí, sense la teníamos right? bien pero dudamos ¿sí? <risa> sí eso pasa um... en el segundo ejercicio empezar y vamos a ok ok <risa> Aquí lo pueden hacer de corrido, ¿verdad? No tenemos mucho tiempo, unos tres minutos. Usted comienza, okay. ¿verdad? Uh, you start like, uh, football is a popular sport. It is played in many countries it, in the world, right? It's played. Uh -huh. It's played. Yeah, it's played. And then you go, many movies are made. Aquí solo hay dos opciones, two options. You know, passive voice or the simple present. Uh, That's movies it, right? are made in okay. Hollywood, sería... Yes, and you can take turns, ¿verdad? Podemos hacer como con turnos. We can do it that way. Ok. Ready. Vaya. ¿Quién va con el 3? Teacher. Hello. Teacher, ¿a quién le toca quedarse ahora? Uh, um, let me check, all right? Let me check. Hold on. Um, I have it here. Aquí está. Okay, I guess it's Mr. Eduardo, but I, I think he's going to give his, his term to somebody else. Tal vez adelantamos con Mr. Edwin, que aquí está. Tal vez se puede quedar hoy. All right. Okay, are you working on this quiz already? Or you finish already with, with this quiz? Um, finished. You finished already? Yes. Okay, nice. Yeah. So let's go back to the... Uh, to the main station there, all right? Nice. All right. Okay. Okay, so we have to wait for everybody else to, you know, get back over here. And in the meantime, uh, Catherine, do you have any questions? No sé si tiene una consulta, Catherine. O algo en que le pueda ayudar. No, teacher, todo bien. Estamos bien. Okay, okay. Mr. Nelson, we're good? Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, so uh, since I have to mention this, so before we review the exercise that we covered already, um, I need to remind you of the uh, 101 session. So in, for tonight is Mr. Eduardo's uh, term to stay uh, from 10 minutes after the class is over. But uh, I don't know if Mr. Eduardo is going to stay uh, over here. I don't think so. Um, so let's see, Mr. Eduardo, are you staying, sir? I can give a, I can you give. You can give, okay, to, yeah. the, the spot to, to somebody else. All right, that's okay. 
uh, or maybe we can uh, advance with the time over here. I don't know. So, Mr. Edwin uh, Sevillano, could you stay tonight, sir? Yes, Mr. Teacher. Edwin? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, you're going to be the one. Thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, Edwin, and, and, and you too, uh, Mr. Eduardo. All right. So, let's check uh, briefly the this part, all right? Uh, the writing part over there. Okay. Since this is supposed to be a review, uh, I'm not going to stop uh, a lot over here. And this is the one that I'll be giving you feedback about, right? Solamente se vamos a completar lo del quiz eh, que era multiple choice. No lo vamos a hacer por cuestión de tiempo porque quiero hacer el, el, el listening que les había prometido, all right? So that's the one I want to do. And there is something else that I want, I want to cover with you. So um, who can help me with number two? So a volunteer, please. Yo escribo, so I will, I will write down what you tell me over here, all right? ¿Quién se anima a decirme la respuesta, por favor? Hey, Go ahead, please. It's you, sir. Diamonds, number two. Diamonds Di and, gold. and gold from South Africa is used by countries all over the world. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. But in this case, it has to do with uh, importations, right? Or imports. Con, con importaciones. Import. Yeah. Right. So in this case is our... Imported, right? So South Africa is the producer and then the, the diamonds and gold are imported, you know, by other countries. So, so los otros países lo importan, ¿verdad? A sus países. Okay, valga la redundancia. All right, so number three, who can help me with number three, please? Number three. It, it, All right, I Mr. Alfonso. Know. Okay, uh, number three, the US dollar, it's used. It's used, right? Okay, it's used. Uses in Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rico, okay, thank you. So next one, please, number four. Hawaii is a new, mm -hmm. for these beautiful beaches. Correct, yes, Hawaii is non, non, right? is known like this, you know, for its beautiful beaches. All right, so next one, many electronic products, many electronic products, right? Miss Sonia, go ahead, please. Are exported. Our... Many electronic products are exported by Japan and Korea. It's an important industry for their, this Two countries. These two countries, correct, are exported by Japan and Korea. So these guys are the, uh, the the ones who produce and they take them everywhere, right? They export the, these products. And the last one, who would like to help me please? Uh, the economy. The economy is many island countries, such as Jamaica is based on tourism. Correct. Thank you, Miss Evelyn. All right. So the economy in many island island countries, such as Jamaica or Jamaica, is based on tourism, and that's it. All right. Okay. So now we gotta move on to the next exercise. Okay. And I would I would I would say that this is the last thing that we will cover for this class. All right. It, it, it's a listening about Colombia, and in this case. You have to uh, fill in the blanks with this information. Vamos a completar con, con busca, buscando la siguiente información. Location, population, um, language, industries, agricultural products. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five things about Colombia, ¿verdad? El ejercicio de, de, de auditivo va a constar, usted va a buscar estos cinco detalles, ¿verdad? O puntos. Location, ubicación. Population, población. Language, lenguaje, right? O, o idioma. Industries, you know that already. Industri industrias. And agricultural products or productos agrícolas. So those are the five uh, pieces of information that you need to listen to, all right? And I would play it for you. 
Uh, if you, if I were you, I would write this down. Creo que podemos escribir, verdad, las palabras. Location number one, population number two, language three, industries four, and agricultural products number five. Okay. And write, uh, let's see, keywords out of this. All right. Okay. I share with you the this image so you so you can have it right there. All right. And please let me know when you're ready. All right. All right, so just one second. All right, so I guess you're ready. Am I correct? Yes, teacher. All right, thank you so much. So here we go. I just I just want to make sure that I'm sharing the the audio correctly with you. So uh, use uh, earphones. Si es posible, pueden ocupar audífonos because this, this is actually better experience. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Page 76, exercise 10, listening, Colombia. Part A, listen to a short talk about Colombia. Complete the chart. <laughs> Colombia is located in the northwestern part of South America and is the fourth largest country in South America. It has coastlines on both the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. It has a population of around 45 million and is a very beautiful country with snow-capped mountains as well as hot lowland plains. The capital city is Bogota. Spanish is spoken by nearly all Colombians and it is the country's official language. Many religions are practiced, but the religion of the majority of the population is Roman Catholic. Some of the most important industries are textiles and clothing. Other industries include mining and oil. Agriculture is the most important section of the economy, and Colombia's main agricultural products are coffee, flowers, sugar, bananas, rice, corn, and cotton. The coffee that is grown and exported is delicious. In fact, Colombia produces more coffee than any other country except Brazil and Vietnam. All right, so uh, I guess the part about location, population, language, what's okay, right? So those parts were okay. But the part about the agricultural products, too many details, right? La última parte, había muchos detalles, okay? I know that. So let me play it again, right? Let me play it again. Okay, here we go. Exercise 10, listening, Colombia. Part A, listen to a short talk about Colombia. Complete the chart. Mm -hmm. 
Colombia is located in the northwestern part of South America and is the fourth largest country in South America. It has coastlines on both the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. It has a population of around 45 million and is a very beautiful country with snow-capped mountains as well as hot lowland plains. The capital city is Bogota. Spanish is spoken by nearly all Colombians and it is the country's official language. Many religions are practiced, but the religion of the majority of the population is Roman Catholic. Some of the most important industries are textiles and clothing. Other industries include mining and oil. Agriculture is the most important section of the economy, and Colombia's main agricultural products are coffee, flowers, sugar, bananas, rice, corn, and cotton. The coffee that is grown and exported is delicious. In fact, Colombia produces more coffee than any other country except Brazil and Vietnam. All right, so I guess we are ready to share some of the answers over here. So um, without using Google, right? Because Google can, can give you the answers, right? So you don't Google. <laughs> because it might give you the answers. I know that already. So Colombia, according to the listening, um, is located where? Where is it located? What part? In South the, America. West. The north western West. part of, of South America. America. Correct. Northwestern part of South America. And, and I'm going to write this down. All right. I'm going to write it down for you. So take a look at this. So the location, yes, is the Northwestern and they have uh, access to both the Atlantic and the Pacific, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Maybe. Um, hold on, please. I'm going to write the question, the answers down over here. You know, I guess this that's going to be better for you. Okay, so northwestern in el noro oeste, northwestern, okay, part. What's the population? 45, 45 million. 45 million, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. So the population is 45 million. Yes. Okay, people, a lot of people, right? And of course, like, you know, language, you know that already, right? And, and Colombians have this unique accent, right? They have this unique accent, okay? We know that already. Um, at least some of them, or most of them. And uh, let's see, design, uh, hold on, design this. The language is? Spanish. Spanish. It's Spanish, right? Yes, it's Spanish. Spanish is spoken in Colombia. They, they actually talked about the religion, right? They, they also mentioned the religion in Colombia. Okay. Catholic. Yeah. Catholic. Roman Catholic. Yeah, Roman Catholic. Um, industries. What are the industries in, in Colombia? Textiles. Textiles. Yes, they, they say. Nothing. Yeah, textile, okay. which is, which is, uh, they don't have a, a, a car or, or automobile industry, right? No tienen cuestiones de carros, right? No, right? Textiles, right? Clothing. And clothing. Textiles. And some kind of oil. I don't remember what kind of oil. Teaches. What kind of yes. what? Is it? Oil. Oil. Ah, yeah, they say oil over there. But I, I guess they didn't mention it, right? They say oil. But we'll see. Uh, let me just uh, write the answer down over here. Okay, because sometimes it's difficult. Industries, yes, you say textile, clothing, right? Yes, and oil, all right? Okay, and uh, agricultural products. We have many agricultural products, right? Yes, they have coffee, flour, sugar, bananas, rice, corn, and cotton. <laughs> exactly, coffee, sugar, uh, bananas. Uh, what else? Flowers. Flowers. That's Flowers. Rice. Rice. Corn. Rice. Corn. Rice. Yeah, I think that's enough, right? 
And besides the uh, the tourism uh, industry, right? Aparte del, del industria del turismo, okay? But which they, which they didn't mention. A lot of people go there. Coke. Because, yeah. <laughs> Drug dealers, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course, right? Yeah, but you know, uh, we are, this is a, an educational channel, right? So it's not the other one. <laughs> but yes, you're right. One of the uh, highest producers <laughs> Okay, so and then the, that's it. So now let's listen to the to part B of, of the of this of this audio, and then what you're gonna check if they mentioned uh this place right they mentioned the uh the beautiful beaches in there and um they also mentioned the rivers volcanoes lakes snow caped uh, mountains have lowland plains usted va a ver si en el va a escuchar perdón si en el listening eh, mencionan esto estas cuestiones all right all right these places over there so that's gonna be on part b of the listening okay so I'm going to I'm going to play it in a second right now. So one more place, and then we take it from there. Page fifty nine, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else do you learn about Ashley? Oh, she sorry. won't tell you her age. No, no, that's a wrong, that's a wrong listening. How sorry old do you think she is? Maybe Who didn't, knows? maybe didn't say that. I think that, she's right? probably in her thirties. And how old? Sorry about it. All right, let's see if I can find it over here. All right, but we might do it tomorrow because we don't really have the time tonight. All right, it's we're getting close to um, ten p.m. All right. Let me just one second. No, I guess I didn't save that part. I guess I only saved that part A, right? Creo que la parte B la tengo en otro lugar y nos vamos a tardar en lo que yo se lo reproduzco. Okay. But uh, let me introduce something else, which I have also uh, uh, prepared for you this evening, right? I told you we were going to cover some vocabulary. Les mencioné que vamos a, a, a practicar un vocabulario. And I have like a, a, around one minute to do that, okay? Voy a mostrarle esto. You don't have to do it tonight, but uh, this is going to be for, for tomorrow, okay? This one. Uh, I know you don't have time for homework or something like that, but I'm gonna introduce to you the following. Um, all right, take a look at this. Brevemente solamente les menciono, verdad, en, en un minuto, lo que vamos a comenzar a hacer el día de mañana. All right, so this is what we have for tomorrow. Uh, some vocabulary, uh, which has to do with the industries. And as you can see, everything has a connection. So you see the listening about Colombia talks about industries, right? The, the uh, textile industry, the uh, agricultural industry. And we also talked about Japan, okay, South Africa and everything more there. But that all tiene conexión, si se fijan. And this is the vocabulary that we will cover tomorrow. So in there, you will match the uh, place or the product with the uh, industry. Tenemos, verdad, el producto con la industria. For example, we have clothes. It should be a textile industry. Buildings, construction industry. And tomorrow we will use one of my activities, which I have ready for you over here. Uh, you see um, this one. To match, let's say the products, okay, with the industry. And that's gonna be for tomorrow, all right? So we're gonna start with that. So if you want to study this, let me share with you this screenshot in the chat. So you can review, take a look and maybe start working on this. But tomorrow is gonna be the to do this. Mañana va a ser lo oficial para hacer esto. 
I guess the listening practice was okay, right? It was okay. And um, I'm sending this to you right now. And with that, uh, we say goodbye, okay? Ya les mandé eh, el, el vocabulario que vamos a estudiar mañana para que ya estemos listos, verdad? Para realizar la, la, la actividad que les, que les he preparado. So that's the one I shared with you already, okay? Yes. And tomorrow we will also review the simple present. Vamos a repasar lo del presente simple, okay? With WH questions and information questions over there. So that's gonna be the deal for tomorrow. All right, so I gotta say goodbye and then Mr. Edwin Sevillano, please stay here on the 101. Thanks for joining the class, everyone, and good to see you. Have a great night. Bye, have a good night. night. Goodbye. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Bye, Mr. Melendez. <laughs> yeah, bye, Mr. O. Yeah, be careful, be careful, All right? Okay, Mr. Edwin, we, we are alone right now, all right? Mr. Edwin? Yes, teacher. Yes, all right? All right, so 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 how can I help you, sir? ¿Cómo puedo ayudarle, verdad? How can I help you? No sé, este siento que me falta más escuchar. Okay. Bastante, mejor dicho, porque bueno, la primera parte porque venía corriendo no no le entendí nada. En las okay. de las pirámides, en Machu Picchu. Oh, okay. Me, me costó bastante, quizás porque venía corriendo de la calle por, por entrar a la clase. Sí. Vaya, ya en este otro sí me, me fue un poco más. Un poquito mejor. Sí, ya me dice bastante. Bastante mejor. Pero sí me gustaría más, así como escuchar más para comenzar a que procese más mi cerebro. Sí, tiene razón. Sí, como eso cuestión de, de que su oído se, se vaya acostumbrando. De hecho, usted me acaba de acordar que les, que les comparta el audio. Vaya. Lo que podemos hacer, lo que usted puede hacer es, eh, eh, no sé, en su hora de almuerzo, unos dos, tres minutos, escuche los audios que lo vamos a ir compartiendo, ¿verdad? Y así usted puede ir tomando notas y después verificar. Este, uh, el audio se lo mandé el primerito. Aquí quedó, mire. Así, así está, a ver. Esto. Esto, vamos a ver, el primerito que le mandé es acerca de, hagamos algo para que no se nos pierdan los audios, escríbame usted al, al, al WhatsApp, por favor, al mío, okay. eh, eh, solo respóndame al, al último mensaje que yo les escribí ahorita en el WhatsApp. Eh, Ajá. Sí, sí, ahí lo tengo ya guardado. Ajá, y yo le voy a contestar en privado y le voy a adjuntar las dos imágenes. La primera que vimos de, de los tres lugares, Machu Picchu, las pirámides y eso, uh -huh. con, con el audio, eh, sí. imagen en audio, para que lo tenga ordenado y así usted lo puede escuchar. Right. Sí, porque sí, ah. eso siento que sí me he quedado bien, bien atrás. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Los compañeros van más adelantados. No, no crea, fíjese. Yo el grupo lo traigo desde enero. He tenido la dicha de trabajar con, con la mitad del grupo. Y, y o sea, no es que, que les cueste mucho, ¿verdad? Pero tampoco es que se les haga fácil. Todos tienen su lucha. Okay, sí, así, así se lo todos, todos estamos aprendiendo. Exactamente, todos estamos en la lucha. Además, la hora eh, es pesada, bastante pesada la hora de las, de las 8 a las 10 pero estamos haciendo el esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. lo que usted puede hacer, aparte de lo que nosotros hacemos en clase, si a usted le gusta la música de los 80, los 90, algún músico en inglés, hágalo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Eh, si me pongo, lo que he puesto, lo que he comenzado a hacer, no sé si es recomendable, es uh, lo que estaba haciendo siempre, por eso me gusta apuntar, antes lo digitaba, uh -huh. pero hoy cada cosa que miro la voy escribiendo para acordarme más o menos entre... 
cómo se dice la frase y cómo se escribe la diferencia. Se escribe? Ajá, tiene razón. Ajá, porque hay varias que, que varían en su... Eh, eh, sí, es que el inglés, usted lo mira de una forma y la forma en que lo dice es bien distinta. Exacto, entonces es trato, uh -huh. trato de recordar cada cosa para irlo apuntando. Uh -huh. y siento que en eso sí he avanzado un poquito porque ahora sí, bastante las clases las voy pasando. Igual este, me he puesto a los verbos regulares. Ajá, ajá. Me puse a escribirlos todos, la mayoría son 100 que tengo. Ah, sí, solo regular. Sí. Ajá, pero eso es para comenzar, dije yo, y comencé a llenar, a escribir a mano como el verbo regular, cómo se escribe, el pasado simple y el participio. El participio. Entonces, uh -huh. más o menos ahí me voy guiando, pero sí lo, lo trato de practicar seguido. O sea, uh -huh. si escribirlo así en una vez, trato de escribirlo cada semana para ir. Ajá, para, para, para ir a... que. Y así usted se va probando si en realidad se lo quedó o se le va olvidando. Ajá, exacto. Porque y, sí me falta bastante usarlo en, en las oraciones. En, en contexto cuesta un poquito más, ¿verdad? Sí. A veces lo memorizamos, pero a veces ya en contexto es como que... ¿Cómo lo voy a usar? Dice uno. ¿A dónde sí. va ubicado y todo? Uh -huh. Fíjese que si se fijan, yo trato de cerrar como el ciclo de, de todas las clases, ¿verdad? Comenzamos Ajá. con cuestiones de, de... Ya hicimos lectura, ¿verdad? Hicimos cuestiones ya de complementar. Esto, estos ejercicios son bastante acertados. Este que estoy, le estoy compartiendo, donde usted solamente arrastra la palabra y ya usted sí. dice, ah, ok, ya aquí entendí la estructura, ¿verdad? Ya después viene el momento de que usted escriba, ¿verdad? Y aquí, y, y aquí tiene tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero la cuestión está cuando ya comenzamos a hablar este, o a escuchar. Ahí usted tiene que adaptarse al tiempo del audio o al tiempo de su compañero. ¿verdad? Exacto. Entonces, ahí es un reto, ¿verdad? Sí, eh, eso. Uh -huh. Como le digo, donde escuchar y a veces ciertas palabras que no, uno no Ajá. conoce. No. Sí, y a veces cuando uno eh, ya ha visto la palabra, ¿verdad? O por lo menos uh -huh. tiene una noción, pero como uno la ha pronunciado mal o piensa que o nunca la ha escuchado pronunciar, o sea, nunca la ha escuchado la palabra, ahí es donde uno se pierde. Sí, okay. Sí, eso sí. Ajá, exactamente. Y también tiene mucho que ver si usted está familiarizado con el tema de que se está hablando. O sea, todos conocemos de Machu Picchu, ¿verdad? Pero si usted no conocía, por ejemplo, cuándo se descubrió, o los números le cuestan un poquito, o cuestiones así. Eso es otro, ajá, los números me cuestan ajá, bastante. Los números, sí. Eh, vaya, por ejemplo, cuando usted dice los números y son, digamos, su fecha de nacimiento o algo importante, los divide en decenas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Primero, si digamos 1980, va a decir el 19 y el 80 separado. ¿Ok? Sí, por eso es que le estaba diciendo cuando en metros y en kilómetros, ajá, ajá. se los decía así, pero error mío, tenía que decir ajá. el número completo, como se... Ajá, exacto, aquí le estoy compartiendo la pantalla, mira. Ajá, exacto. Sí, sí sabe. Uh -huh. El de Machu Picchu. Ajá. Este... Por ejemplo, le dije... 24 o metros. Ajá, 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 no tendría ajá. que ser así, tenía que es, ser... Es... 2000, ¿verdad? Sí, 2000. 400. Ajá, 400 meters. Y, y luego aquí está el año que, que comenzó la construcción, dice eh, 1450. Lo que pasa es que en español así es, ¿verdad? Decimos todo un gran número, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero sí. en inglés lo, div lo dividimos en dos decenas, ¿verdad? 14 y 50. Así lo va a decir usted. 14, no. 50. 14, 50. Digamos que si usted nació en los 80, 70, 90, va a decir 1990, 1980, 1975, y ahí dice su, 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 su fecha de cumpleaños. ¿verdad? Entonces, si son cantidades de cualquier otra cosa, sí lo dice gran número. Sí. Pero, por ejemplo, 1911, ¿cómo lo diría, Mister? Eh, sería 1911. 1911, correcto. 1911. 1911, sí, yes, you got it. 7... Uh -huh. 7,800. Exactly, exactly. 7,800. Lo que hacemos es hacer una pausa y algo. Algo que también tenemos que tener bien claro, yo les digo siempre a los estudiantes, es que si usted mira que un compañero o compañera habla rápido, él ya llegó a ese punto de hablar un poquito rápido o porque en el caso de que tenemos dos oyentes en esta sección, uh -huh. ¿ok? Significa que ellos ya pasaron por todos estos temas y lo que ellos est están practicando. O sea, es un repaso. Sí. Okay. Entonces, para que no, no se vaya a desanimar, yo sé que no, no, no se va a desanimar, pero por lo menos no. <risa> hablan bien rápido. 
Y estos son bien buzos, ve yo, ¿qué pasa? No, no, tenía otro compañero que era más, que se ponía a hablar más con el teacher. Más buzo. Él ya, ya tenía, ya estaba en avanzado, pero estaba con nosotros como repasando todo. Ok, ok, ok. Ah, uh -huh. Pero igual, uno de siete Sí. Uno aprende de ellos, fíjese. En realidad sí, eso sí, amo. Eh, aprende a preguntar uno y esta, cómo se pronuncia y todo uh -huh, eso. Uh -huh. Sí, en el inglés es más que todo lo, lo de la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Y, y ordenar la estructura, eh, que es lo que, lo que cuesta a la par de, del audio, eso cuesta mucho. Pero sí. de ahí la escritura se nos hace fácil, eh, la lectura también. Y, y, y pues, por ejemplo, mi idea es apoyarles con, con lo que yo pueda, ¿verdad? Entonces traerles actividades, dinámicas para variar y que usted tenga... La sí, porque son de... bien, bien así Ajá. educativas prácticamente, Ajá. porque todo Ajá. se me queda más. Ajá, sí. Cuando llega el momento de escribir, hay que escribir porque escribiendo se le queda más a uno. Prácticamente Exacto. yo escribo todo, son las cosas que me han quedado. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Llevo todo, todo escrito. Sí. Uh -huh. sí para y, eso. y lo que usted hace, eso es lo que le iba a recomendar, que lo siga haciendo. Haga una lista del vocabulario y haga cuestiones de gramáticas como por aparte o por páginas separadas. Así que usted dice, ah, este vocabulario, ah, esto significa. Y si es posible, a la par o abajo de la palabra, usted escríbalo como, como lo escucha. Y así se lo va a aprender. Y, y con el tiempo se va a aprender bien la escritura. Ok. Ajá, eso trato. De... Uh -huh. Pero sí, eso que me quiere decir, de que, vaya, que escriba también cómo se escucha, es buena idea. Eso no lo había practicado. Ajá. Y después usted solamente, obviamente, va a corroborar la escritura, ¿verdad? Cómo es correcta, pero por lo menos para que no se le escape y usted, no sé, o anda un papelito y de repente si usted anda en, el, en bus o va manejando y se baja, en lugar de revisar, yo eso hago, fíjese, en lugar de revisar, digamos, el, el Facebook o las redes sociales, ah, ok, tengo algo que leer, ¿verdad? Tengo esta cosa que leer, ya lo leo un par de minutos y en poquito en poquito, cuando viene a sentir, ya se acabó lo que tenía que hacer. <risa> Sí. Fíjense que eso, los, los, esos, estos japoneses así hacen. Ah, es que este, ellos son bien educados. Bien disi disciplinados. Ajá. Ajá. Disciplinados. En cambio, uno es más. Se distrae con Ajá. todo. Exacto, exacto. Pero mientras uno esté estudiando, hay que hacer el esfuerzo. Sí. Okay. Ajá. Entonces, eh, poco a poco, los profesores le van a ir hablando un poquito más de inglés. Usted se va a ir dando cuenta. La exigencia va a ir subiendo. Usted tiene que ir escuchando eh, cuestiones en YouTube, canciones. Si usted maneja, póngase un CD de canciones de lo que le gusta. Y si es posible, ya haya visto las letras y vaya colaborando. Eso ayuda un montón. Mi cuñado, solamente ¿Sí? para darle un ejemplo claro. Él, él trabaja en call center. Está joven, tiene un poquito menos de 30 años. Pero él aprendió inglés porque trabajó en un ciber. Y ahí se ponía a escuchar música, a bajar canciones, a leer. Él nunca puso un pie en una academia. Obviamente, él sí. es bien listo, ¿verdad? Hay gente que es bien lista, ¿verdad? En ese sentido. Hay gente que se le da bien fácil el Ajá. idioma. Exacto. Y después él ya consiguió trabajo y perfeccionó, ¿verdad? Pero por lo menos tuvo un inicio y un contacto cercano con el Ajá. idioma. Fíjese que yo tengo, bueno, prácticamente mi familia puede inglés. Mi, mi hermana está en Estados Unidos. Uh -huh. Mi hermano y mi primo, tengo un primo, que ellos por videojuegos. Ajá. Es es desde pequeños jugando, jugando, entonces uh -huh. ellos buscaban las palabras, las repetían. Ajá. Al final, bueno, tengo uno que, que él, ¿cómo decirle? Trabajaba, no sé en qué call center, uh -huh. pero tenía el avanzado ya prácticamente Ajá. llegando a nativo, uh -huh. pero sí. no era nativo. Sí. sí, es que como, mire, eh, primero su oído y su, se tiene que, su cerebro tiene que procesar esa información, convertir eso que usted escucha en información lógica. Y a usted su oído ya va a detectar esos sonidos. Ok. Y usted va a poder producir. Eso sí funciona. Así se lo digo. Porque yo también he trabajado en call centers. Y he viajado por ahí. Entonces. Uh, me las he visto a palito. No, no, me imagino. <ríe> sí, entonces. No, si a veces. Fíjense que así como. Vaya, por ejemplo. Dos semanas que estuvimos inactivos sin clases, ¿verdad? Ajá. ajá. Y esas semanas por lo menos. Este, trataba de formular oraciones. Uh -huh. A ver si era, si estaban bien o estaban mal uh -huh, uh -huh. hechas. Y, bueno, por ejemplo, bueno, casi, casi todos los días cuando voy al trabajo, eh, si estoy pensando algo, trato de hacerlo en inglés. Ajá. 
ya no en español, sino que tratar, tratar de, ah, esto es con tal verbo y comienzo a, a decir el verbo uh -huh. y tratar de ir llegando al punto que se conjugue bien. No que... Como por ejemplo, su rutina, usted puede decir, usted dice, yo me levanto, I wake up a tal hora, then I, I have breakfast, I go to work. Y usted en su mente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. o, cuando, o cuando usted está, digamos, comiendo y de repente usted dice, tengo que hacer tal cosa, I have to do this, then do that one, then esto. Ah, ok. Y usted dice, hay tarea. ¿Cómo se dice hay tarea? Es eh, así. Ajá. Aunque lo miren ido de repente. Yo así hago sí. cuando estoy lavando los platos. Me, me, ¿Qué es lo que tengo que hacer? Digo yo. Y de repente no se me ocurre ninguna idea de la clase y esto cómo puedo variar. ¡Pum! Me viene. Ajá. Sin mentirle. Sin Ajá. mentirle, fíjense. Eso hago. A veces hasta he estado como en la misa cuando yo estaba aprendiendo inglés. Me ponía a ver lo que el sacerdote estaba diciendo y qué es lo que está diciendo en inglés. En español lo decía. Yo, ah, Ajá, y claro. te lo trataba de traducir. Ajá, directo. En mi mente, en mi mente. Ajá. Eso es más así. difícil, porque es más sí. difícil. Ajá, en mí me acuerdo. Y, y porque miraba que en la tele también, ¿verdad? Que de repente a un pastor le traducían y decían las cosas, ¿verdad? Pausado, entonces vamos a hacer la prueba. Sí, sí. Ajá. Todo Pero, es de... Ajá, es de buscarle, pues. Ajá. Pero sí voy a hacer eso que me dijo para uh -huh. avanzar bastante, poner la, el, el verbo y pasarlo a... ¿Y cómo se pronuncia? Exacto, exacto. Ajá, para, irlo, para irlo analizando bien, uh -huh. para que me vayan quedando más. Uh -huh. Sí, no, no, y ahí vamos. O sea, tengan la meta de aquí a diciembre, tener ya intermedio, ya poder mantener una conversación. Y algo que también le iba a recomendar es, y eso lo digo sí. a todos, cuando estén en los breaker rooms, lo poquito que usted sabe o lo mucho que sabe, póngalo en práctica. Le decir, ok, now it's my turn, ¿verdad? You go, ok, number one, number two, number three. Ok, so, uh, cuestiones de que se digan entre ustedes, ¿verdad? Cuando dice, ok, my turn, ok, conversation one, let's practice. Eso le va a ayudar a su cerebro a, a que las cosas funcionen más fácilmente. Es decir, que usted no va a estar cambiando de español a inglés, sino que solo uh -huh. se va a mantener a inglés. Ok. Sí, voy a... uh -huh. sí porque... A veces uno habla más en español que en Ajá, inglés. Exacto. Entonces usted mm. dice, so, so, what do we have to do? Y usted piensa, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? What do we have to do? Y ya va, ya va armando las oraciones. Y él dice, ok, this, ok, let's practice, dice usted. Me first. Aunque no diga las cuestiones bien uh, hechas, elaboradas, Ajá. por lo menos va a empezar eh, a hablar. Exacto. Lo para irás. ya ir, ir, irse mm. desenvolviendo más. Exacto. exacto. All right. Okay. Bueno, ya, ya se nos acabó. It's time sí. to say goodbye. Ok, teacher. And hope to see you tomorrow, Mr. Edmund. Right? Tomorrow, teacher. Yeah, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.